If you are in uni, don't let no professor brainwash you with nonsense. I'll smack them for you. How foolish you are when you say there is no God. How dumb, how ignorant you are. I don't care what your credentials are. To me, you are a little kid acting so foolishly, so childishly. Let me take you to the desert with me, my dear friend. And let's go in that wilderness where there is nobody coming to your rescue, where there is no power that can save you, where there is no one that can understand that you are there. Let us go to the wilderness and see what you are made out of. And let me see when you face Satan alone. Then let me see your credentials coming to your rescue. <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know, when you see Jesus in that wilderness coming to your rescue, it is then and then only you will shout hallelujah. Now I've realized God exists. Popes, cardinals, bishops, Preach about Jesus. So many of them have no idea who he is. So many of them have no idea if he truly exists. So many. Why? Because they went and studied about Jesus in some sort of a university and they boosted about their PhD in theology. This guy is a theologian. This guy is a professor. This guy holds PhD in theology. Big deal. Who do you think you are? Mate, when I take you to the desert and let me see your PhD, tell you who Jesus is. Let me see. You think I am illiterate? I am not educated? You are the educated one? I don't hold a PhD in theology. You do, so you think you're smart? Mate. You want to come with me to the cave and bring your PhD with you and I'll put you there with your PhD and one little foul spirit I'll I'll ask the Lord to send your way let me see what you're gonna do when you face that little foul spirit with your PhD Little kids are running the show. No wonder we are living in turmoil. My beloveds, hold on to the Lord while we have the time. A time is coming. We won't have this opportunity anymore. Believe me, you will remember this. You'll say, oh, I remember that good old Santa Claus, <laughs> the white beaded bishop. He said a time will come. There won't be churches. Today, those words are, are alive there is no churches anymore. I'm crying out to the Lord no more. Before it was so easy to go to church. Now it's impossible. Before it was so easy. I asked the Lord and he would come. Now I'm begging him. There is no Lord. There is nothing. You know, hold on to it before it's gone. Because it's going to go. It's going to go, my beloved. I'm not scaring you. I'm not discouraging you. But I'm just warning you out of love. Enjoy the day with the Lord. Don't ever let go of the Lord. Don't. I beg you. I beg you. Don't. And I will own everything by 2030 and I will live happily ever after. Amen? So, Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords and Kings of all Kings. He lives forever. And he who has Jesus lives with him forever. So, hold on to the Lord. Uh, no need to clap. Hold on to the Lord. I'm saying this to encourage you. In the name of my Jesus and your Jesus, be of courage, good cheer. Don't ever fear nothing. Don't ever fear no one. Live strong in the Lord. Live mighty in the Lord. 
Give all glory to him. Nothing is yours. Everything is his. When you do something good, say, Thank you, Lord. You are the good God who has done this through me. I am good for nothing. It is you, my Lord. You brought me here. You taught me. You made me walk in your footsteps. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your mercy, for your blood, for your salvation and redemption. Thank you, Lord. Amen.